Almighty God is telling the Christians and the Jews, both of them, if you do not follow the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who he shall speak in my name, in the name of Allah, I will take revenge. Furthermore, if you read, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 21 and 22. How shall we know the words of the Prophet are from Lord? How will we know if what the Prophet says, it is not from the Lord? And the verse continues. If the Prophet prophesizes something and it doesn't follow, it doesn't come to pass, that means it is not the word of Lord. That means to make it more sure, the prophecy continues. How will we come to know? Maybe anyone will say in the name of God, it may not be the word of God. So how will we come to know whether it's the word of God or not? So the prophecy continues that if the prophet says something, if they prophesy, and if it does not follow, if it does not come to pass, those words are not from Almighty God. And we know everything what the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, prophesied came exactly to the minutest detail. It came out to be true. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that the Muslims will defeat the two superpowers. At that time, the two superpowers were the Persians and the Byzantines. At that time, the Muslims were so few. Leave aside defeat, the Muslims couldn't even have thought that they could resist these two superpowers. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at that time said that the Muslims will defeat the two superpowers, the Persians and the Byzantines. And Alhamdulillah, several years later, the Muslims did defeat the Persians and the Byzantines. I'll give you one more prophecy of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that a man by the name of Suraka, the person who plotted to kill the Prophet, when he migrated to Medina, after the plan of the pagan Arabs failed, when they tried to kill the Prophet, and when Prophet migrated to Medina, he plotted to kill the Prophet. The Prophet prophesizes that this man, Suraka, he will become a Muslim. And after he becomes a Muslim, he will have access to the crown of the Emperor of Persia. And we know from history that Suraka, who tried to kill the Prophet, later on he accepted Islam, not only did he accept Islam, he even took part several years later. He took part in the Muslim army to defeat the Persians and the prophecy came exactly true. He also had access to the crown of the emperor of Persia. Imagine the prophecy was fulfilled to the minutest detail and there are several prophecies. That means Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a true prophet, and the words he spoke were the words of Almighty God. I'll just mention two more due to lack of time. It's mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12, that the book shall be given to the prophet, and it will be said, read, I pray thee, and he will say, I am not learned. If we go to the original manuscript, the verse of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12, talking about the prophet, the book shall be given to him, and it would be said, read, I pray thee. I pray thee is an addition. In the original manuscript, it is not there. So actually it will be said, read. And he will say, I am not learned. And if we know the history of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the first revelation of Almighty God, the glorious Quran, which was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was by Archangel Gabriel in Garahira. And when Archangel Gabriel, Jibreel salam, when he told to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ikra, the Prophet replied, Ma ana bikari, I am not learned. Exact fulfillment of the prophecy of the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12, that when the book will be given and will be told to him, read, he will say, I am not learned. This prophecy fulfills no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 